will it be difficult to um, develop kind of an integrated strategy for these patients? You mentioned uh, psychiatric disorders, so obviously you need to bring in a psychiatrist and then some other doctors and specialists to handle the different comorbidities and different symptoms and, and areas for these patients. Is that going to be a challenge in a lot of places? Yeah, I think it's very challenging. Um, but what we're seeing in a lot of areas is that a successful approach to care of the cirrhosis patient in general um, and the, any patient with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is it really takes a multidisciplinary approach. Um, and treating pain is uh, no exception to that rule. Um, so every patient with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease really needs engagement from a primary care provider uh, to make sure they're getting um, all their general health care maintenance. Uh, they need an endocrinologist if they have diabetes. They may need, if they have psychiatric comorbidities, they may need involvement from a psychiatrist or psychologist. Um, and they may also need uh, a physical therapist um, to, to try to address their pain with non-pharmacologic strategies and keep them as active as possible. So it's not easy, um, but I think uh, investment in a truly multidisciplinary approach for these patients um, will pay off. Now, um, it maybe it gets a little lost in everything because of how addictive they are. Um, but some patients, there is medicinal value to some opioids for patients. Will a percentage of, of this 18%, will they still need the opioids? Is, is that the appropriate course of treatment for, for some of these patients at least? Yeah, that's a really good question. I, I think there are definitely situations where short-term opioid use um, is indicated. Um, and Undoubtedly, uh, a certain percentage of these patients will have received opioids for um, appropriate indications. Um, I think when it comes to treating chronic pain with opioids, there is really limited evidence that supports their benefits in these patients. Um, and I think there is uh, strong evidence supporting uh, high risk for harm, uh, particularly in patients with chronic liver disease. Um, and so I think the situations where chronic opioid use um, is indicated, particularly for patients with chronic liver disease, are, are pretty few and far between. Okay. Now, um, as you may be aware, September is Pain Awareness Month. So how important is it, speaking about the kind of medical industry in general, develop alternatives to opioids so we're driving down the addiction rate and still treating pain? Oh, I think it's incredibly important. Um, you know, uh, I take care of patients on a daily basis um, who suffer from uh, debilitating pain. Um, and that's particularly difficult for my patients with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, given that this pain often limits their mobility and makes it really hard to address the non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Um, so I think the entire medical community um, needs to, to come together and, and chip in and um, we need more research to develop truly comprehensive strategies to address pain in, in patients with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and all patients with pain.